This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Tally Hall Ruler of Everything, also known as Do You Like How I Walk. So I'm going to teach you how to play this on the piano. There are two main sections to this for this lesson and both of these sections is played twice. So the first section goes like this. Second time. And then the second section goes like this. Second time. And that's it. All right. So back to back, the two lessons, uh, these two sections make up this whole lesson. All right. So yeah, let's move on to the first lesson. The first lesson goes like this. Okay, well not first lesson, the first section, I keep saying lesson. The first section, right hand, starts on the E, okay, middle C's here, just the E right next to it. So E, F sharp, G sharp, up to the higher E for three times. Down to B, B flat, A, back up to E three times. That's it for the mode tip, all right? Learn it again, it goes E, F sharp, G sharp, E, 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 B, B flat, A, E, E, E. That's it for the right hand left hand, we just have two chords, two chords E major, which is E, G sharp, B. And second chord is A major, A, C sharp, E. So with these two chords in mind, two ends together goes like this. Right hand starts, E sharp and E major together. A and A major together. Yeah, and that's it. And then all you need to do, okay, essentially you actually play this for four times, okay? It's actually not like two times, but uh, you can say you play it two times and then you repeat the, the two times for a second time as well. So that's, that's why it makes it four times, all right? So yeah, just goes like this. So second time. Fourth time. Like that. So that makes up for this first section. That motive is played for four times. All right. So yeah, let's move on to the second section now. Second section. Okay. It goes like this. So we'll break it up into the parts. Okay. So there's two parts of this. And then you just repeat the two parts to make up for the um, third and fourth part. Okay. Right hand starts on the G sharp. A sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, F sharp, down to C sharp, C, B, up to three F sharps. That's it for the right hand for this first part. One more time, it goes G sharp, A sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, F sharp, down to C sharp, C, B, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, two chords here, the two chords are F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and second chord is B minor, B, D, F sharp. So these two chords in mind, so F sharp major and B minor. Down together goes like this, G sharp starts, A sharp and F sharp major together, B and B minor together. That's it for the first part, let's learn it again, it goes together, together. Alright, moving on, the second part of Ryan continues, goes F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, up to the high F sharp three times, C sharp, C, B, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. That's it for the right hand for the second part one more time, it goes F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, up to the high F sharp for three times. C sharp, C, B, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, the two chords are F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. And then the second chord this time, instead of B minor, is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. So with these two chords in mind, then together goes like this. So right hand starts, A sharp and F sharp major together. B and B major together. That's it. Let's load it again. It goes together. Together. That's it. So back to back, the two parts of this section goes like this. And repeat it for a second time. Oops, okay. Thank And that's it okay so once you get this section you just go back to the other section and play back to that section back 
the other section. Yeah, awesome stuff. Okay, so once you get the melody and chords all good for both sections, then you can start to add your own improvisations. Okay, you can do like octave, arpeggios, rhythmic patterns. That kind of thing, okay? And you can just like make some rhythmic patterns and right hand can harmonize on the chords. So it can be like... So you can turn that into swing rhythm after you have mastered the basic version of it, okay? Because the basic version I taught you doesn't really have the swing rhythm, just get all the notes and get all the chords right. But then afterwards, you can just turn it into the swing rhythm, which is kind of sounds like an original, all right? So, so the, the quaver sounds like da, 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 ba, 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 that kind of thing. And then you can turn it back to the conversion. Yeah, play around with it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Okay, make sure to check out all my other piano tutorials on similar songs like this. Search up your favorite song name, followed by email store to find those lessons. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.